Lord Silvio of Telior offers the solitary House Wolfort an ally, and a place of protection for Roland. Serenoa accepts his offer, and Silvio puts his plan to ensnare his new allies into motion. That's enough, Rufus. You call these men soldiers, Silvio? They haven't got any spine. You can take your frustrations out on House Wolfort. They accepted my gracious offer. I would have preferred they hadn't. I hate dirty jobs. I expect double for this one. And you shall have it. You will strike once the banquet is finished. Only Roland need live. I beg you, sir, give me one more chance. I shall not fail again. We are already taking measures against House Wolfort. A suitable pawn has showed itself before us. Though, perhaps, I should be more wary of my own family than any other. Huh? Falx is all that remains of the three high houses. I trust you know what to do, Avlora. Lord Landroy Fox is famed for his bow arm. He had the pluck to fire at your master during the war. Do you think you can best him? Without a doubt. I don't know what to expect now that Esfrost's taken over Glenbrook. I heard they put a huge bounty on the prince's head. We can make a killing if we catch him! I always dreamed of kidnapping royalty. <laughs> but the prince of a crumbling kingdom? Mm. They'd probably kill him if we turned him over. The reward is tempting, though. The reward is tempting, though. So, Lord Silvio has been in contact with Esfrost. I heard he made for Whiteholm Castle not long ago. And I received identical reports from several of our spies in Tellior. There is a reason he is known as an opportunist, in which case he has but one objective. Securing Prince Roland to use as leverage with Esfrost. I was also told that House Tellior has hired a man named Rufus as a bodyguard. What do you know about this man? He's a bounty hunter known as Hero's Bane, loyal to none but coin. That said, he's a ruthless fighter. It would be wise not to underestimate him. To think Lord Sylvia would hire such a man. It means he is serious. We must plan accordingly. Understood. 
Gather the others. We have much to discuss. So Lord Silvio's proposal was all a ruse to ensnare me? Unfortunately so. He has been in contact with Esfrost. But he must have surmised that simply bending the knee would not suffice, and thought to use you to curry favor with the Archduke. Using the Prince's leverage? Has he no shame? We can no longer trust anyone. That dirty scoundrel played us for fools. We made the best choice we could. Had we refused, he would have attacked us outright. Indeed, there are countless soldiers lurking around the premises. So he came prepared for a refusal. I suppose we can expect as much from the famed opportunist. My lord, we must strike before he does. You mean for us to cross blades with Lord Silvio? We have the upper hand now, knowing what awaits. We must do whatever it takes to survive. So the war has already begun. It has. His objective is to capture Prince Roland. Once we are in his territory, he will use the surest measure to secure his highness, in which case... Welcome, Prince Roland. Lord Sarah Noah. A beautiful banquet, just as I promised. I cannot wait to share a glass of Telior's finest wine with you. Hmm. Likewise, Lord Silvio. We cannot thank you enough for the warm reception. Please, relax, Your Highness. As Lord of House Telior, I promise to protect you to my last breath. Thank you. You must be exhausted. Why not have a glass of wine? I am sure you will find it to your liking. Ah, like nectar from the heavens. I should have expected no less of Telior. Please drink your fill. I insist, everyone. I shall. I have never tasted anything quite so delicious. In honor of the fallen. Cheers to the glory of the high houses!
Prince Roland, are you sure you're not drunk? Hardly. It was all an act. Convincing, no? We cannot let our guard down. The real battle begins now. But of course, I expect they will be here soon. It's an emergency. We have two patients. Both with extraordinary fevers. The Rosellen is unresponsive. Well, I can't tend to both unless you can give me two more pairs of arms. Let me help. I've just completed my training and I'll do whatever it takes to save them. Are there no real doctors left? Uh, fine, come. We're losing precious time. Leave the Rosellen. We must prioritize the Believer. As you wish. But the Rosellen will die unless we do something. Do they not teach the order of things in school these days? So what if they do? What does the order of things have to do with saving lives? Not all lives are weighted the same. You would do well to remember that. Quickly, Medina, these people are dying as we bicker. <sighs> I couldn't save him. Orders or not, I was the one following them. It's all my fault. Where are you going? Medina! I beg your pardon, Lord Saranoa, but a doctor from the Ministry requests an audience with- My name is Medina. I've heard much about your house and simply had to see it for myself. What insolence is this? Stand down. Pray tell, what brings you before me? It is said House Wolfert possesses a relic known as the Scales of Conviction. Is this true? It is. We turn to the scales for guidance in times of trouble. Then, I wonder if they might guide me forward as well. I... I had a crisis of confidence. A man was counting on me to save his life, and I let him die. I cannot let this happen again. I wish to save all the lives I can, regardless of country or creed. Pray grant me the chance to consult the scales that I might walk the righteous path. The scales are merely a tool to an end. They are not a magical window into the future. When decisions must be made, all in this house have a say. We choose as best we're able and strive to ensure we chose wisely. You mean you strive not to regret your decision? That is all one can do. Forgive me if this is not the answer you sought. Then would House Wolford accept my aid if I offered it, my lord? If you would serve as a physician, that would be a boon. For we fear the war is far from over. I would be honored, my lord. I would see what I could do to rewrite the order of things. Now let us walk the path together. I am at your service, my lord.
It looks like my special wine put them right to sleep. Seize the prince, and kill the others to the last. Are you two still moving? It would seem your wine did not have the intended effect. It didn't take a trained eye to see straight through your plan. Your wine found a new home within our breast pockets. You scheming bastards! We could say the same of you. This is where you meet your end, Lord Tellior. That's my line, you whelp! I leave the rest to you, Rufus! Well, well. Things are finally getting interesting. Careful, your highness. They are after you. Understood. Let us carve a path out of here and regroup with the others. of House Wolfort. We did it! Now to find Silvio. over Roland and received nothing. For your honor, you were attacked, isolated, and betrayed. <sighs> Even if you kill me, nothing will change. Your deaths are inevitable. History will look back and laugh at the fall of House Wolfwort, who could not see past their own noses. Are those your final words? No, not quite. Now, Rufus! You'd better pay me, Silvio! As long as I live, so shall the High Houses. Rest assured of that as you go to your graves! One might almost admire his tenacity. In any case, I am sure we can overcome any difficulties that await us. Indeed. Glenbrook shall not fall, and neither will House Wolfport. 